and I, I can tell that because this website is just kind of outdated I would say so yeah so they put my first name last name they grab my email uh, how can they help me so these guys quite literally won't let you quote online they're just letting you do uh, a quote through them collecting a couple things and then they're gonna call you okay let's go through the last two progressive if you wanted a local presence so they are offering that local presence so they're saying I can get directions to this place. Today I'm going to show you how to do an insurance quote online. So I'm going to give you some points and tips. This is mainly for the people that are new. If you're just getting into insurance as far as a consumer and you don't know what the process is or the starting process to go through is, then I'm going to show you in this video right now. So I'm going to actually show over to my computer screen and we're just going to do some live examples of how to log in and do that. But there's a couple things I want to talk about before that. So the first thing is what you're using the car for. So if you're going to school and back, that's the same as working back for them. So just tell them what you use it for. They're going to ask how many miles it is to school or work. And then they're going to ask how many miles per year that you're going to drive. That's becoming a larger question for most companies mainly because the mileage is starting to be a factor. It started to be kind of a, a little extra bonus piece that would help you for those that said, well, I don't drive much, give me a better deal. And that was an option. But now that everybody's like nitpicking, back here, paste, start quote. I'm on the property as well, unfortunately. So we want auto. It looks like they don't do home in, in Florida. So date of birth, we'll just say June 1st, two, uh, 1994 and then click next and then you can put your information in so we're Jason Smith now here's the thing don't make this stuff up because what they are doing is when you're doing that uh, you want to make they're changing the laws changing the rules changing the guidelines which is good there's some stuff that I don't agree with that insurance companies charge for and so because they're starting to change those things really good things they are nitpicking a little bit more because they still want to give you that best deal and so they are going to charge someone that drives 50,000 miles more than the person that drives 8,000 miles so know the mileage keep in mind don't try to cheat the system I know you're going to want to be like oh I drive two miles a year for what they'll do is they'll say great we're going to collect your information we'll start a quote and the reason they do that let me go back to their home page is because uh, and you see what I was talking about here where they show the people they show locations, uh, they've got reviews, so they've got 521 reviews, pretty much a five star. They've got a couple of fours, a uh, couple of threes. I personally like to read through them just to see how accurate that is, but I'm pretty confident with this one that they're going to be because I'm going to have to find out a little bit on my own. So we are independent insurance companies. So this should have been like plastered all over the front page. But because they came in second on this list, I'm gonna give them a really good shot. Let's look at the insurance companies they're with. AAA, American Modern, Foremost. So see how Foremost is allowed to shop, not just farmers. Gleaner, Grange, Haggerty, Hanover, Liberty Mutual, Markel, uh, Nationwide, Progressive, Competitive. Like right now in Florida, if you're under 25 and you're looking for basic coverage, State Farm and Allstate are two of your top options, along with Geico, actually. <laughs> so in, in the state of Florida, there's your answer. So depending on what state you're in, let me know in the comments below. But let's go through this. So let's kind of make up a quote here. There's a lot going on. You're really looking for that start quote. Now be careful, because if you're going to go to Google and you accidentally type in Geico, uh, geico.com, uh, Citizens, that's actually who I'm currently with for now. <laughs> <laughs> my price is going up a little bit uh, Grange if I click on this I can get some more details so this is really well done uh, I wish it would have grabbed my attention a little bit more but that's that's really good Haggerty uh, CNA uh, Surety Michigan Insurance Westfield Westfield's a decent one uh, okay so they've got a handful of companies as well that's how you search online locally that's what I know or better on your last grade report you're typically going to get a discount now if you don't live at home if you're on campus then you're going to sometimes get another discount if you're going to go under for example let's say you're going under your parents policy they get a discount if your school is more than 100 miles away now it does matter if your car's at home or with you but it still gives you some sort of a deal or a discount depending on what you choose in that option 
Okay, so those are the main things that they're going to ask you. They may ask that data, and then you're going to get another quote. So if you're okay with that, that will give you a really good option. But just keep in mind, you're going to be tied into getting phone calls or emails or texts for the next one to five years. That's just the way those systems work. And that's similar to what I do. I actually, if you guys ever ask for a quote, I work with one of the companies that you've actually seen in this video. Uh, and I, I basically send them your information because I know if you're in the state that they're completely increments up, you could have a guy that drives 30,000 versus a guy that drives 20,000 miles and you're not going to see much of a price difference there. Once it goes over that 15,000 mile mark, then it kind of just slowly creeps up from that point. So that's the parts that you're going to be looking for. Those are some of the discounts just to be mindful of. Now, if you're going to do a search, let's just use my location. I'm actually going to pull up my screen here and we're going to go ahead and Google insurance near us. So I'm going to type it would do if you're looking to call somebody. If you're also doing that to, if you're going to go online and do a bunch of shops, if you're younger, here's what I would do. Uh, one, you may want to watch my video, wherever it is up here, that goes over the best options for young drivers because it's a lot different when you're under the age of 25. If you're over the age of 25, I'm going to do that part last. So under the age of 25, I'm just going to tell you right now, go to Geico. Okay, Geico.com from AAA, that's a good one. Uh, I would go to their website directly. And what you're going to do is you're going to click the product. So I could click start quote if I'm looking for home and auto. They're saying that right here. Okay. I just want, <clears throat> excuse me, auto in this case. So I'm going to click auto, plug in my zip code, 49512. And then that's not my zip code, by the way. <laughs> and then I'm going to either add a property. So if I'm a renter, by the way, it may be cheaper if you're a renter. Watch that with them. So we've got farmers which is great I can quickly start a quote here now when I do that I'm not actually quoting through this guy's agency yes it is gonna tie it to him but because the way that single independent agents work is the quoting is in their platform it's in farmers platform or all states platform or state farms platform because they're exclusive companies they only sell brick and mortar style there you go to an office you can do it on the phone but you know an insurance agency near me not agent okay and I'll show you the difference here in just a moment so if I'm looking up insurance agency ignore this first section okay these this is great if you want to see a map if you're looking for places that are close to you you can very quickly see okay here's where I'm located here's where this is and you can see places that are nearby the good thing is they've got ratings on here so you can see the different rating factors but I personally don't go by this I would give them a shot uh, I personally know that they're not competitive for me, but uh, I would still try if I knew. So I would give farmers a shot here because they were the first one that Google said. The second one, which is Rice and Fowler, uh, they need a little bit of web, <laughs> web design upgrades. But the cool part is, is when you see this, this usually leads me to believe that this is more of like an agency with multi-companies. They really need to show this on here, like first thing right on the front page information so they're going to ask you your name your date of birth your address if the car is parked at that address they're going to ask if anybody else is in the house if they're going to be driving the vehicle if they are otherwise they need to have their own insurance so those are the main pieces that you can expect and then there's a lot of little things that they should ask so they should be asking a lot of discount questions some states allow you education discounts some states allow if you're married or single, sometimes it's not really a discount, but it's a different rating, uh, a good option. Different discount bundles, that's awesome. Student discounts, alumni discount, educator discounts. I really like that part of it. Let's go back to their homepage. Maybe I'm missing something on here. Oh, right there. Yeah, that's what I was talking about. So some of the snapshots of who they're with. I would have liked to see that in color because that it draws your eyes to that. So AAA, Nationwide, Liberty Mutual, Travelers, that's a great one. Uh, I don't think they do car insurance in Michigan, though. Okay, they brought us there. Thank you, Google. But let's just type in Geico. Be a little bit careful. So this first link, just make sure it's geico.com. If it's not, a lot of these companies, like Bankrate, is rate, rating number one for the search of Geico. So they have a really good review or some sort of talk about how Geico is great. If you go to their website, this is the warning that I would tell you. 
whenever you go to these websites like Bankrate, they're going to say, get a whole piece of paper. I mailed them the quote. Uh, and then they called me, and I and then the lady left a voicemail that was so distorted, I couldn't understand the phone number to call back. So I never got that quote. I was trying to do it for you guys. Let's go back and say a different zip code. I'm actually going to use, uh, let's say, zip code in Florida. They're really good, good at, or competitive in Florida. So we're going to take this one here, Orange Park. They're going to... Sometimes they're going to ask for odometer readings so they'll actually get those. Sometimes when you get an oil change, it's already recorded. So just know that that's a thing. Typically, the range that you're looking for is under 5,000 miles is normally you're retired or you're going to school and driving another vehicle. Uh, above 5,000 to 10,000 is kind of its own little rating period. And that's more of the normal. So that's a little bit below the average. And then 10,000 to 15,000 or more then it kind of slowly normally would go to an office and talk to one specific person Okay, so that's that type of of it. So when I'm quoting with this platform, it's actually not gonna give me the best uh, it, Well, it's, it's a good experience, but it's not gonna give me multi options So you can do it online or call but here's the cool part You got their address if you want to go in I would check because of COVID a lot of places aren't open They're usually working from home right now and then you have their phone number, so I could call this company directly. I like that he has five-star review. Safeco State Auto, so they've got a really good handful with three, six, nine, 12, 15. So 15 companies that they work through. Granted, about eight of these don't actually do personal lines, so they're not just doing car insurance. Haggerty is like classic car. You got a 1923 whatever, Corvette or, or Mustang or something, you know, that. It's like a show car, so that would be your Haggerty's. And then, uh, I don't even know who Markel is to be honest with. Uh, YouTube. Uh, I'm trying to find out where these companies are. I think one of them is called All Web Leads, AWL. Or All Web Leads. So they collect information on different websites. What they are, they're, they're just masters at marketing. They know what keywords are, are there and that's how they're collecting your data so personally make sure if you want a specific quote from geico from progressive and and they've got companies that are competitive then they'll actually send that information out and then if you don't ever answer they're going to call you in six months or a year because they think that you're going to renew around that same time a little different than what these guys are doing these guys are just selling it to the best bidder and then when they're done they'll resell it to the next best bidder so just keep in mind when you're getting through these, don't get scammed. Uh, I'm not saying bank rate is a scam. I'm just saying a lot of these companies do this. There's the, uh, let's see, get a quote, right? You plug in your zip code and you put in who you're currently with, uh, the age, all that. And then you say, I am looking for home and auto or I'm just looking for one vehicle. I'm age 18, 17, whatever the case is. And we'll say I'm with 21st century. Uh, I click find it's gonna give me all of these companies I think that I'm doing something but in reality what they're doing is they're collecting my data and they're gonna sell that data to seven other 10 50 whatever they want to get get a VIN number to a similar vehicle try to get the same trim same model same engine if at all possible just go to Google and type in the car you're looking for and pretend like you're gonna buy one find the VIN number pull it off because that vehicle make and model there's different trim levels so the, the price can be based on many factors, but that's one of them. Especially if you have a turbo versus not having a turbo. Those are big differences in costs. So that's the first piece that you're going to have to have. Be prepared to give all of your info. like to do fake quotes because it doesn't give anyone a benefit. Outside of Geico and Progressive, I've actually had State Farm in some of the states. It's a swing. It, maybe ask me in the comments and I'll answer it, but State Farm could be 10 times the price or half the price. So I'm finding that same thing with Allstate as well. Even though they're kind of the big box and everyone thinks that the big boxes are expensive, which they usually are, but I'm finding that in about a third of the states when you're under the age of 25, that sometimes they are the most convert back. You pay your money, you get everything, and you're like, oh, my name's misspelled. Hey, sir, ma'am, my name's misspelled. Can you fix that? Yeah, absolutely. All set, great, thanks, click. You get in a bill in the mail for $1,200. <laughs> don't do that just make sure everything's correct you're not making up names date of birth if you're that type of person that needs to hide that information don't do the quote 
it, it's not going to work. You're going to fight tooth and nail. I wouldn't be surprised if you find one company that will quote you without collecting all the information. They don't make sure that you're giving your real name because what happens is with State Auto, for example, I've actually worked with them. If you have the name misspelled and your license pulls in, sometimes it doesn't connect those and run your what are called motor vehicle reports. And so it won't connect you and it'll give what's called a default score. So it'll just guess and say, well, the average person in this area is this. And it's there it's gonna rate you on that. You go to purchase it, you get all the paper you have never heard of them before. Um, National General, I don't know much about them. I know they're more of like, I think they're high risk. Uh, don't quote me on that. I don't want to put that bad name on them, but I'm I'm 60% sure they are. Safeco I love, State Auto's decent. Uh, Nationwide's a name brand, so if you want that name brand. So this one would be one I would do. So I would click at the bottom here and get quote, which is great. And it's probably going to refer me to them. I don't think it's going to collect my data very well. Uh, an option. Now here's the thing. When you look at these, let's say for example, let's go to this website. I'll pull it up at the top here. When you look at these, I search for agency. And Farmers is an agency, but they're not a multi-company. They're what's called an exclusive agent. And so they can only sell Farmers. They also do for most if you're not, if you're not qualified for Farmers, but they're the same company. So Farmers and Foremost is all they have. They can't shop you across several different companies to sell them to. They may even sell them, if we're lucky, they'll sell them to one specific agency that really wants my data, right? But they're gonna take all that data and sell them to other companies. Really good thing if you are okay with the stress of having 10, 15 phone calls in a day. <laughs> if they're, each of them are gonna call you two to three times in that first day. And they're gonna call you one or two times that second day. And then the fifth day, they're gonna call you again. And then if you still don't answer or respond, they'll leave you alone. However, a year from now, they're going to resell that other video if you're under 25 that'll talk about that. Uh, and then I'm going to click start quote. And then it's so simple. All of that data that I told you, it's going to walk you through that process. This case, I got an error because they hate Michigan right now. <laughs> I don't want to say I hate. They're, they don't do quotes over the internet. It's kind of their way of saying, we insure Michigan. I have actually know a friend that's with Geico in Michigan. But... It is almost impossible. I tried to get a quote through them. I even did it by mail. I filled out the factor. Uh, they also do like your location. Uh, also, if you own the home or rent the home, have any special like uh, endorsements or if you are an engineer or a CPA or anything that helps. If you're younger, which was going to kind of part participate to most of you or, or whatever the word is, it'll, it'll pertain to most of you. That piece is going to be more so like grades. So if you're a good student, if you get a B or a 3.0 on average, that's what they're looking for. So 3.0, some reason is competitive in almost every single state that I've seen when it comes to young drivers. That's the first one I would check. The second one is progressive. Okay, I'm just gonna click to their homepage. So progressive.com. And then the third one, this is tough because when you start to get in outside of these guys, each state is different. So I've been finding that in more cases than not, really two pieces, there's two ways that you can do quotes. You can either do them online or you can call directly. And I'm going to walk through both of those options and tell you kind of the differences between them because there are some good and some bad to both of them. So to start off, the phone call is the easiest way to go. If you know where you're calling and you just want to get a quick answer, a quick quote, a couple things that you definitely need to be prepared for. One, have the VIN number to the vehicle. If you don't have the vehicle, he's only got five, so it kind of, I, I shy away from the ones that don't have like 20 or 30 or 40 or, or more than that, just because I could pay a friend <laughs> or 10 friends to give me a review, right? So I'm not saying that they're doing that, but it's a trick, right? There's a lot of companies some people aren't the most honest, and that's where insurance gets its bad rap, is because the ones that aren't are messing up for the ones that are. So he's on Yelp, that's awesome. So he's got a really good profile on here. So I would press a whole lot, just because this is not shopping for the best value. It's shopping for the best location. And I'm looking for the best deal. So in this case, what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna skip past these, watch out for these little circles, these little spots that say add 
because it's not even they're not even in, in your market they're just advertising over top of these guys okay so agent.farmers.com these are some of the ones there's no ad there so I may actually call that one as an Aberson insurance agency so which is what they're saying here oh that must be their phone number I don't know uh, and then Compass Insurance. So I know this website because I've been on it. Uh, the cool part about these guys is really quickly you can, in, they do multiple states. Let's say I'm in Michigan, so let's click on Michigan. I can, they can collect a lot of my data right here. So I can tell them who I am, what my car is, what my information is. They're not gonna give me a quote online just because I've submitted through these guys' companies. And I know personally that in my area, they're not very competitive great people they're actually really good at training so I, I started my career there uh, Kentwood Michigan insurance so I might look at this one and then let's scroll nationwide there they go both so they could be an exclusive or independent agent progressive that's gonna be a very common one uh, I'm kind of curious to where that leads me and then compass which is a company that I've actually worked with great company so let's use